um, I've just received the, the case printed in 3D, um, which will uh, hold the, the, the device. So the two Arduino is expected to go here, and the circuit is expected to go over here, and this is to put the TFT screen. So the only thing that is wrong is that actually we made a mistake. Um, we made a mistake in the 3D model because this should not be like this. It, this should be attached like this. So we obviously forgot something. Uh, but otherwise, it seems uh, good. We are going to see if everything fits and if we can put all the screws correctly. So we will see how it goes. So I realized we had uh, not properly uh, measured the, um, the TFT screen, so this was not wide enough, so I had to file this, file it, which was uh, actually quite hard to do. So it's a very resistant material. Uh, and also uh, I realized that um, the, the place where we had made the holes uh, are, not, uh, are not correct because we cannot put uh, if we put it where we have put the holes, then it's going to, we, we are going to not have enough space to put the wires. So I had to, to make new holes with this. Uh, so all the, all the holes where the screws are, are not the original in the 3D model. So uh, we are going to update the 3D model for the other station to have something good because this not, doesn't look very nice. Um, and as long as the TFT screen is concerned, I have, uh, I have um, used some glue to put the, um, the basically video card circuit here and some plastic thing in the middle to isolate it like this. So finally I have um, soldered everything here on this uh, Perma Proto board. So uh, I had a few issues, at first I had made a mistake uh, in my wire connection, we had shorted five volts to the ground, but then I had a more uh, difficult uh, issue and I realized that in fact it was uh, an issue with this, uh, with this board, you can see that here there is a missing connection. And uh, so I, uh, it was on the reset, reset circuit. So I debugged it with the oscilloscope and finally I found what was not working as expected and then I realized that this was about this uh, problem. I don't know if I damaged it or if it was um, uh, if it was already like that. So anyway, I just used some other line of contacts to fix it, and now this seems to be working. Here is what it looks like before closing the case. So here is what it looks like when it's completely assembled. Here you can see here it's the photo sensor to detect the ambient light. Here is a, a support to put a, a pencil. And here is what it looks like from the back. So you can see that here it's the, the power. And actually I've made this so that uh, we can access the um, USB inputs so that if we want to upgrade the software, it's possible to upgrade the UX Arduino here and the Wi-Fi Arduino here. But uh, in a normal usage, you are just supposed to connect this single cable and it powers everything. And this is for uh, to uh, dissipate the heat. Well, it should not eat uh, really uh, a lot. It should, it, it's just a little, so actually this is a bit overkill, but just to be sure we made these big openings like this. So, Everything is working, so we can draw things now. So of course, uh, we are going to reprint uh, the 3D for the, the 3D model for the other station with the only one because we weren't sure that it was going to be correct and we were right to do that. So this ugly thing here where I had to file uh, the enclosure won't be there in the final version.